looks good, yes, Digo? There ought to be something in there that will make us rich. If this seaweed-based fish substitute works, it'll certainly make the local fishermen happy. Not to mention the local fish. The name is Zilla. Godzilla. Intake completed in approximately 007 seconds. Ah! Uh, you promised you'd stop fooling around with Nigel! I lied. Ooh, looks like the lizard doesn't like your cooking. Does it not bother you that you have studied this creature for so long, yet he remains a mystery? <gasps> Philippe! It is good to see these Americans have not made you soft. Are you familiar with the work of Dr. Anton Fleury? Should I be? He was one of France's most brilliant geneticists until his experiments became... unsound. Flory was apprehended in French Guiana, but his lab was never located. Until now. A local treasure hunter had an unusual encounter there. We believe it is in everyone's best interest that Flory's work not live on. We go. You have got to be kidding. The boogeyman tells French toast here about some mad doctor in South America and his homemade mutations, and we go running... why? Because I trust her, and Philippe. We leave at sunrise. Are you aware how many diseases a mosquito can give you with one bite? Um, 23 or 24, as I recall. I... I thought it was only six. Mm, the lab should be 400 meters inland. Uh, sure we don't need someone to stay with the boat? What is it? We are being watched. By who? The monkeys? 
I don't see anything. like a Craven family reunion. Ha ha ha. Check for any files or notes. Oh, awesome. They don't build them like this anymore. Of course, my wristwatch has more memory, but we're talking classic. Can you get it back online? Does Doc love antibacterial soap? I'll need my carbon spectrometer to analyze these remains. It's back on the heat seeker. Continue your investigation. I will retrieve your equipment. Whatever you say. Boss. This is amazing. Three different species molded into one entity. It's not simply a mutation. It's an entirely new creature. What kind of twisted mind would intentionally make such a bizarre life form? Let's ask your parents. What is it? I'm not sure. But if this microscope still works... I give you the undisputed hacker of the Amazon. What have you got? Talk about your dry reading. The manipulation and creation of deoxyribonucleic acid. <laughs> you can't create DNA. Wanna bet? This stuff is pure DNA. A genetically clean slate. I if that barrel was full of this stuff, it would be like a mass of clay waiting to be molded. Into what? Whatever living thing it wants. <sighs> We just met Dr. Fleury's little secret. The nucleotides in this DNA gel are so active, they're generating an inordinate amount of excess heat. I know how they feel. Monique! Uh, Nick was looking for you. Yes, he found me. Hey, I thought you went off to get my carbon spectrometer. I have no spectrometer. Tell me everything you have learned. Well, okay, but only because you asked so nice. Uh, we found pure DNA residue in the container in the other room. Now, theoretically, a blob of that stuff could replicate any existing DNA structure from just one sample cell. It could become any living thing. We're talking a perfect mimic. Nice talking to you. What information have you obtained? Uh, these... Files show that Flurry created two DNA blobs. One he kept here, the other stored someplace safe. What is the location of the second entity? I don't know yet. The jungle rod has corrupted the hard drive. I'm not sure I can ever retrieve it. You can do anything. Well, uh, count on me, mon chéri. I 
know where the other container is. I'll tell Monique. Maybe we should wait for Nick. Sorry. It's not the same when Nick runs his fingers through my hair. Have you noticed that everybody around here is acting kind of weird? No more than usual. Oh, Monique, it's the Randy Man. I found the second DNA blob. Oh, there you are. No, get down! Whoa, thanks. Hey, I found the location of the second DNA blob. It's just a mile or so upstream from where the heat seekers docked. I do not know what you are talking about. Oh, you remember? You can do anything. The heat has made you delirious. What's going on? That is precisely what I'm trying to determine. Flurry's second blob of the living DNA. You said I should let you know as soon as I figured out where he stashed it. I have not yet returned to the lab. But if that wasn't you, uh-oh. Inquire. Mimic. Don't let it get away. Split up. If we lose each other, meet back at the lab. I don't know. Uh, Elsie wanted another sample of this junk, so I've been in the back room. Any luck? It escaped. Whoa, 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 whoa. Time out. What it are we talking about? We found Flurry's DNA mimic, or more accurately, it found us. It attacked Monique. Twice. Where have you been? Looking for you. What's going on? I wish I knew. Somebody's been hacking into the lab's old computer. The location of the second DNA container is called up. You don't trust us? I trust no one. Monique's right. Any one of us could be the mimic. Why is everyone looking at me? Because the real Doc would never lean up against a wall of crud like that. Ugh. What? I'm not the Mimic. That's exactly what the Mimic would say. Look, Flurry's pure DNA produces more heat than the typical DNA in our bodies. The thermal scanner will measure if any of our temperatures are higher than the normal 98.6. Give me that. See, I told you I was me. Hardly a cause for celebration. Oh, what about Randy? How do we know he's not the Mimic just trying to distract us by accusing me? Okay, Frenchy, your turn. Hefe? Ninety-eight point six. Well, looks like we're all clear. Paranoia just got the better of us. Elsie? We should be getting back to the ship and uh, find that other... Elsie, you never tested yourself. Me? <laughs> You're kidding, right? Please tell me you just have a bad case of the flu. Jaguar, a monkey, and Elsie. 
Who knows what that, that blob of grape jelly did to her? The Mimic will undoubtedly try to recover its matching protoplasm. Stopping it should be our top priority. We are not leaving Elsie behind. Nobody said we were. Everybody fan out. Look for Elsie and the Mimic. But stay within eyesight of each other. Elsie! Elsie, can you hear me? Elsie! Elsie, where are you? Uh, Elsie! Uh... Nick! Over here! Uh... <laughs> hey! That's for pushing me into that ditch. You could have killed me. It wasn't me. It was the Mimic. Sure looked like you. He looked like you, too, before it became a vicious jaguar. Which doesn't seem like too much of a stretch at the moment. Perhaps now we can turn our attention towards stopping the Mimic? What about the Mimic? It knows the coordinates of Flurry's second container, the one marked Y. The container we found was labeled X. So maybe the other letters were already taken, X and Y. The male and female chromosomal symbols. It's not just looking for another can of protoplasm. It's looking for another mate. Those two DNA blobs get together. They'll be able to reproduce unlimited copies of themselves. Their offspring could replace the human race. Nitric acid should act as a mutagen on its DNA polymerase, unraveling the mimic at the genetic level. Sometimes I wish you came with subtitles. I think I know a way to stop the big bad DNA monster. Hey, that's me. Two, Mendels. Uh, I'm not sure I'm ready for this. It's messing around with Nigel. Hey, you can't do that. Only I can do that. Nigel's not responding. The, the Mimic must have reprogrammed its lockouts. That is one smart pile of goo. I better get to work on that nitric acid. Do it. Randy, get us to that Y container before the Mimic. Up for a swim? Sonar shows the Mimic and Nigel right below us, 80 feet and dropping. Elsie, status. Not yet. All right, I rigged these up. The electric shock won't stop the Mimic, but it should slow it down. Lizard for a bodyguard, eh, boss? I should have brought more bug repellent. getting even bigger. Where's Elsie? Who ordered the poison arrow? Careful. That stuff will unzip any organic material at the molecular level, including yours. Good safety tip. Hit the wrong one, and the real Godzilla will be mush. Trust your instincts, Nick. No one knows the G-Man like you. DNA is 
on overload. you know more about the creature than I gave you credit for. I don't really look like that mimic. Do I? Nah. You're much... smaller.